It was a peaceful day that suddenly turned. Crowds had gathered at polling stations from the early hours. But at a sit-down protest in the center of Barcelona, it turned ugly. The start of violent police action to clear the streets. No one in the vicinity was safe as rubber bullets rang out. Many people were injured. This man was shot in the face. But more than that, the people here were shocked at the response of the police. Why? Why? Why are they, why are they doing this? I can't believe it. This is the worst thing that I've seen. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. The Spanish police had said they would clear the polling stations across the region, but the intensity seemed to surprise those already inside. This was a school close to our location. The scene was filmed by a journalist who was there as police broke down the doors to take away the ballot boxes. Shocking moment. In 20th century, in Europe, in Spain, in theory, a very democrat state. I, I never imagined this. Uh, police fighting with people who won't vote. The people here have been telling us more than once that any protest is going to be peaceful, that they are pacifist in nature, which is why the images of the Spanish police cracking down so heavily is such a bad one for the Spanish government. They say they've acted proportionally in dealing with what they call an illegal referendum with the Spanish Deputy Prime Minister going as far to praise the police. They've acted professionally and in a proportional manner. The aims of their actions were not people but electoral material. They always wanted to protect rights and freedoms. Unjustified and irresponsible were the words used by the Catalan president, Carlos Puigdemont, in describing the police actions. This referendum was the high watermark in a long standoff between the region and the central government. If it's shown one thing, it's that there's now a real sense of defiance from the people of Catalonia. Francis Collings, TRT World, Barcelona.